Let's have a look at question 21 now. So what do we have here? We have a village with 20 identical people who all have a thousand euros. They do not need to spend directly. Okay, there's two options to spend this money. Either saving them in the bank or buying a ship for a thousand euros. Uh, saving yields an interest rate of 10%. A ship can be, uh, can be placed on a small field with grass and then can be sold. Now the function of the price of the ship is this one. Um, okay, so the inhabitants of the village decide independently between saving and buying a ship. In equilibrium, what's going to be the number of ship? Okay, so how do we decide that? Well, we need to we need to maximize we need to maximize our own utility, and we do so by thinking about the marginal benefit and the marginal cost. And we know that at the optimal, these two have to be equal. Now, what is the marginal benefit? What is the marginal benefit of buying the ship? Well, that would be the price that we can sell it for. And that would be equal to 1800 minus 50s. What is the marginal cost? Well, the marginal cost would be the opportunity cost of not buying a ship. And the opportunity cost is to put the money in back and 10% interest rate. Well, 10% over a thousand euros, that would make us, that would make us, uh, a thousand multiplied by 1.1 so that would be 1100 euros so the opportunity cost the marginal cost in this case would be 1100 euros which is equal to 1800 minus 50s so that would be 1800 minus 50s now if we solve this by taking the 1100 to the other side it would be 1800 minus 1100 and that's just 700 700 equals 2 and we take this one to the right equals to 50 s now s in equilibrium the number of ship in equilibrium would be equal to 14 and that would be the answer and they say it's 16 so the answer is false and we are done